Hey guys, welcome to uh, day 20 of the 30 day yoga challenge. Today's uh, challenge is called lead. Um, the person who uh, got me started on this challenge, uh, the last time I talked to her, she was on day 20, so uh, I caught up to her, I guess. Um, Today's quote is, sometimes you find yourself in the middle of nowhere, and sometimes in the middle of nowhere, you find yourself. So I thought that was a neat quote. Um, my legs are pretty sore from the workout from yesterday, but um, depending on how I feel, I may try to do another workout video. Um, I do need to start eating more. Um, uh, I've done some research on the greens and the BCAA, and uh, it's not going to help me if I don't eat more than I ha eat more than I uh, uh, have been. But you know, when you're sad and depressed, you know you don't eat as much as you should. So it's something I got to work on. But uh, anyway. Let's get started. Today looks like it's going to be fun. Howdy everyone and welcome to Day Faith, your 30 day yoga journey with day 20. Today's practice is awesome. You're going to work with your hands. I love this practice at this point in the journey because this is really a wonderful way to inspire one. And why you're here and why this is important. So we're confident that something comes in and tap into your true and authentic self. It's the same. And Begin on all fours. Day 20. Can you believe it? Holy moly, we have 10 days left. Oh, you're amazing. We are amazing. Let's begin. All right, so right into it. Make sure today you have a nice wide base in your hands, not too narrow. So widen it up just a bit. Pressing the tops of the feet and then walking up. Inhale, allow your breath to lead the way. So inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round through chin to chest. Warming up with a little spinal flexion, but today's practice is a vinyasa inspired session. Not to torture you or push you, but rather to help you lean away from mental chatter and trust your instinct. You want to move through your life in a way that feels authentic and true. You have to know what that feels like. <laughs> you have to identify with that. Also, if you're a leader, an owner, a project manager, prepare to hear again. Have to have that connection, your instincts and your authenticity as well, so that you can be a good leader. And I absolutely believe that practice is really like the practice of all these things. So check. You're already here, you're already showing up, doing the work, so you can let's have some fun. Come back to tabletop position, walk your hands forward, curl the toes under, take care of today. Uh, for to downward dog, this transition like a pillow, like like a, a mama bear, like you know, like, a, like a mama's healing, picking up her baby from its tail. <laughs> downward facing dog. The image was in my head, but 
maybe maybe it did land point is no hoisting or jerking yourself around we do that plenty off the yoga mat so on the yoga mat is of course our opportunity to check in and ask how am i moving how am i breathing am i going through the motions or am i kind of being true to myself like am i kind of in a funky mood today am i pedaling my feet out am i moving my tongue around in my mouth or am i kind of numb and if numb is the answer um, friends, I know, I know that that's real too. So we're just checking in with what is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's light up the core. Inhale, lift the heels, lift the hip points up high. Navel draws up and in, and we're going to slowly roll through the spine, come forward to plank. Yes, inhale in, exhale, take it up and back, reverse it, downward facing dog. With your breath, inhale, start with the navel drawing up, hug the low ribs in. The last thing is that we gaze forward, plank, and then reverse it. Hollow through the upper back body, pressing up and back, downward facing dog. You got this, do one more with your breath. Getting stronger every day, not just in the body, but in the mind, in the relationship between the two, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. We're gonna do ragdoll today. Exhale, step one foot and then the other. And it doesn't have to be two steps. It can be uh, as many steps as you need. Just one foot and then the other. So really mindful with the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. Exhale to soften and fold. For this one, bend your knees generously. So we roll up all, all, quite often. For this one today, see if you can bend your knees generously. We're gonna pause here, just waking up the muscles of the legs. So bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees, get your center down low. The legs might be shaking here. We're pressing into all four corners of the feet. And when you meet your appropriate edge, when your legs are like, okay, I'm awake, that's when we'll roll it up to mountain. Stand up nice and tall. Right away, on your next inhale, send the fingertips out, left to right, Texas T, open your heart. Exhale, hands come together, arms are leaving the heart. Good, chin to chest, reach behind. On a big breath in, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling of the sky, and exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to soften and fold, root to rise here, spread the fingertips, bend your knees generously if you can, strong legs today as you power up, inhale, reach for the sky, exhale, hands to heart. Mm. Find that loop of energy, that connection as you lift up through the front body, ground through the back body. I could give you 24 alignment cues here, but instead, if you just think about your energetic body, you're lifting in places where you can find lift and you're grounding in places where you can ground, maybe your fingers, the elbows, <coughs> and come into alignment for your body. Because what's in alignment for somebody else's body may not be what is perfect alignment for your body. So we start to train ourselves to kind of pay attention to these things on our own and our home practice blossoms. Okay, ready? Here we go. Big breath in, long breath out, relax your shoulders. Take a second, set a little intention. What do you want to lead with here in your vinyasa? Love, trust, clear mind, clarity, maybe a bit of bravery, trust. Take a second, see the sides to choose. Pretty well. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release and step the right foot back. Inhale, lower the back knee, reach the fingertips all the way up. Big stretch. From here, exhale, anchor your navel to your spine as you straighten the front leg and slowly bring the fingertips to the earth. Breathe in here, breathe out, then rolling through the left foot. 
Inhale, lift the back knee, reach the right, excuse me, both fingertips forward, up and back, reaching the right heel towards the back edge of your mat. Inhale in, and exhale, release it all the way down. From here, straighten the front leg, pull the left hip crease back, lift your right heel, pyramid variation. Both legs are straight, take a deep breath in. And Beautiful, bend the front knee, bend the back knee, step the back foot up to meet the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and fold, bend your knees, start to wake up the legs, even more. Inhale, root to rise, reach for the sky, big breath, big stretch. Exhale, take it right back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find length, tug the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, release and step the left toes back. All right. Lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Big breath, big stretch. From here, navel draws in and back. And it's from here that we pull the elbows, the wrists down, straighten the front leg. Fingertips come to the mat. One cycle of breath here in and out. Awesome. Rolling through the right foot, dig into the right heel. Come all the way through. Lift the back knee on a breath in. Sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Strong legs, guys. Hold onto your center. High lunge. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, rain it down. Soften it. Straighten the front leg by pulling the right hip crease back. Left heel comes up, up, up. So really exaggerate that in the back foot. Pyramid variation. Bow the head. One cycle of breath here. In and out. Great. Bend the front knee, bend the back knee from your center, from your midline. Rock that back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the shoulders away from the ears, create length. Exhale to soften and fold. Bend the knees generously, get your bum, your hips down low, wake up the legs, press to all four corners of the feet, root to rise here. Inhale, power through, press into the earth, reach for the sky. Exhale, rain it down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold, bow. Great, bend the knees, plant the palms, step the right toes back, step the left toes back. Inhale, the look forward, shift forward. Exhale, the lower to the bottom. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, hug the elbows into the side body, press into the tops of the feet and the pubic bone, and inhale, rise up, Uttangasana. Exhale, slowly release. Curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps, tone the quadriceps, inhale in. Exhale, press up to plank or half plank. When you get there, keep your gaze down. Quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong. Downward facing dog, send the hips up high and back, claw through the fingertips. One cycle of breath here, in and out. Anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose, only one of these. Inhale, kick it up, right foot to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way up. Squeeze the inner thighs together, high lunge. Inhale, sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Big breath here, big stretch, you got it. Inhale, carve a line with your nose, look all the way up. Exhale, take up space as you rotate, open up, warrior two. Beautiful, inhale in here. Exhale, head over heart, heart over pelvis, relax your shoulders down. Now inhale in, exhale, bend your right elbow, bring it to the top of the right thigh, and we're going to take the left fingertips forward, just in front of your face. Plug that shoulder in, take a deep breath, engage your left inner thigh, and as if you were smoothing <coughs> your left palm on a surface, slowly send your left fingertips towards the front edge of your mat. Feel that connection from the outer edge of the back foot, through your left hip, your left shoulder, your left wrist, and beyond. Take a deep breath in here. Inhale. Exhale. Check it out. Big move here. Straight through the front leg. Reach it back. Reverse triangle. Right fingertips all the way up and then back. Big breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Cartwheel all the way back to your nice low lunge. Plant the palms. Step the right toes back. Inhale to shift forward. Keep the elbows hugging into the side body as you slow and with control lower to the belly. Find your foundation, follow your breath, inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale to release. Lift the kneecaps, tone your quads, inhale in, exhale, press up, power up, plank pose or half plank. 
gaze down, take all the wrinkles out of the back of your neck, hollow through the upper back body and quietly whisper to yourself, I am brave. Hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Don't think, stay present. You're doing great, anchor the right heel. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, step it all the way up. Squeeze the inner thighs, find your center first, and when you're ready, sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. High line. Head over heart, heart over pelvis here. Carve in line with your nose, look forward, find that energetic lift through the front and that grounding through the back to help you find stability. Yes, then inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, take up space as you open up to the right. Warrior two, back toes turn in. Find your footing here, drop your center down. Welcome that warmth, that heat as you breathe in. Relax the shoulders as you breathe out. Long neck, inhale in. Exhale, bend your left elbow, bring it to the top of the left thigh. Left uh, femur or thigh bone kind of hugging in here to support you. Front knee over front ankle. Then take your right fingertips down in front of your face, plug that shoulder into socket, and as if you were smoothing your right hand on a counter, you're gonna smooth it and take the right fingertips all the way up towards the front edge of the mat. Careful not to collapse on the left shoulder. Now feel that connection. Outer edge of the right foot, to the right hip, to the right shoulder as you spiral your heart up towards the sky. Take one more deep breath in here, you're doing awesome. Then find the grace, move from your center as you send your right fingertips up and back, straighten through that left leg, and you take it to the reverse triangle. Left fingertips up towards the sky, and then maybe all the way back. Take a deep breath in. Follow your breath all the way back down to your lunge. Hold in the Beautiful, plant the palms, step the left toes back, inhale to shift forward, look forward, exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra, try to find something new here, Bhujangasana, and then exhale to soften and release. From here, press to all fours, bring the big toes together, open the knees as wide as your yoga mat, inhale to look forward, and exhale to send the hips back, extended child's pose. Close your eyes, inhale in, and exhale to relax your shoulders. Soften through your jaw. Give you a simple mind to break here as best you can and listen to the sound of that ocean breath. We'll tuck the chin, use the hands or your paws on the earth to slowly roll up. You know, walk the knees in line with the hip points and you lead with your heart. Lift your heart all the way up as you come on to the shins and then you right away, if your knees start to um, have a little chit chat, no problem. You can just take your mat and bundle up on the mat, creating a little pattern. All right. Then when you're set, bring the palms together. Interlace the fingertips with your index finger pointing up and out. Call this steeple grip. So you'll take your steeple grip and send it forward, kind of like Charlie's angle. Elbow creases up towards the sky, upper arm bones rotating down and out, that same spiral we've been playing with. And then, because I find this so much more beneficial and loving and transformational than a bunch of relentless crunches, Keep working on this contraction that we've been playing with of bringing the low belly, lower abdominals in and up, and the upper abdominals down and in. So coming together, that third chakra, which is all about like, I am, I am strong, I am what I am. All right, inhale, lift the chest. Here we go, exhale, navel draws in. We find that contraction here. Do not move back without finding this contraction. Just lean back way back. Great. Inhale to come up. Exhale, slowly lean back. Inhale to come up, targeting the abdominal wall. You are going to feel this in your legs, strengthening the quad. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, lean back. One more time, inhale, rise. Exhale, lean back and hold. This is gonna help your forearm plank. If you wanna get upside down eventually, it's gonna be great. Send your sit bones towards the backs of your knees, just like we do in bridge pose. But you're here for three, two, and on the one with control, rise up, release the hands, inhale, reach for the sky, the plank the knees, and exhale, hands to heart. Great, we'll come to a nice comfortable seat. Take your time, come down, come to shake the legs out. Don't forget, this is your time, your practice. your life to lead your precious life to make one precious body so how we lead matters perhaps and we might think that our, our voice or our body doesn't matter um, but sometimes the world reflects back to us that it might and so thank you so much for taking the time to be with yourself and learn about yourself and work with your body and with your breath so that you can be the best version of you and find your meaningful contribution to society and to everybody and to the world. You rock. Bring the palms together, thumbs up to third eye. Take a deep breath in. And we'll close it by bowing each end of the chest and whispering, Namaste. <coughs> so yeah, um, that was really rough on my, uh, quads because uh, yesterday the workout that I did um, I almost couldn't hold it but uh, it's day 20 we got 10 more days to go and the challenge will be done um, but anyway uh, I hope y'all enjoyed and uh, make sure to comment like and subscribe have a great day.